Hello, so in this uh, video we're going to be looking at transformations of Linux and e to the power of x graphs, the, ex the exponential function. Um, if you're confident on these, please just go ahead and give them a go and then compare them with the answers later on. Otherwise, stick with me. Now, if you're really uncertain about the transformations, you can go to the C1 video and that will um, remind you about the transformations. But I will quickly just go over them just to remind you. Um, so y, if we have y equals f of x plus or minus a, this is happening outside the function. And this is a translation by plus or minus a units parallel to the y-axis. So this is just moving it up or down. And if it's plus a, it's up. And if it's minus a, it's down. This one's happening inside the function. So our function's changing. We're now the function's acting on x minus a or x plus a. Um, and this is a translation by plus or minus a units parallel to the x-axis. And this actually takes it right if it's minus a and left if it's plus a. Uh, y equals a times f of x. So this is outside the function. So you know the function's still just acting on x. Nothing's gone changed in there. And you're just multiplying every y value by a. So it stretches parallel to the y-axis. So it makes it grow up the y-axis faster. This one y equals f acting on a of x, so we've changed inside our function, and this is a stretch parallel to the x-axis by a scale factor of 1 over a. And you can think of this also as compression. So um, if we have our curve, doesn't matter what it is, but say it looks like this, everything is going to happen faster. So it's going to go in by a factor of 1 over a. Uh, y equals f. Uh, acting on minus x, so that's inside the function. And this is a reflection in the y-axis, and that's because if I had positive x, that would give me now the answer for negative x, and if I had negative x, I'll get the answer for positive x. And then the final one, y equals minus f of x, is a reflection in the x-axis, because wherever my y was positive before, because of the change in sign, I have made it minus. So all the positive swaps to negative and all the negative swaps to positive. Okay, so let's look at this one. This is the graph, I hope you remember, of uh, y equals e to the x. So it goes through here, which is 1 when x equals 0. It never goes negative and it gets very, very close to 0. And then it grows very quickly. Okay, so I'm going to add x plus 2 and that's inside my function. My function of x is e e to the x, and I've changed that, so I've got e to the x plus 2, and if it was outside the function, it would just have a, like a plus 2 over here, so that wouldn't be to do with the exponential. And so we use this one, where y equals f acting on a plus a, and that would make um, our graph shift to the left by 2, and if it was minus, it would go the other way. This one, this time we've got y equals e to the minus x. So that's inside our function. And that gives us a reflection in the y-axis because we get the answer for when x was positive now as if it was negative, and when x is negative, we get the answer as if it was positive. OK, so y equals e to the 3x. This again is inside the function, so we use uh, this one, and this is a stretch parallel to the x-axis by a scale factor of 1 over a. So that means that where we'd get the same answer when x is uh, made smaller by a factor of 1 over a. So when x equals 1, we get the same answer when x equals a third. So when x equals, say, one and a half, which is about here, we get the same answer when x equals a half. And that's because you multiply your x by three, so you don't need as many, many x's to get the same answer. OK, so this one we've got y equals e, sorry, equals minus e to the x. And so this is happening outside the function. So our function is still exactly the same. Um, and this gives a reflection in the x-axis up here. 
um, and that's because you just change the sign. Wherever we had minus before or plus before, we now have the opposite. Uh, this one, y equals e to the x minus 2, so we've talked about that one before, and that is a uh, translation parallel to the x-axis, and because it's minus here, it means we go right, because you just uh, need more 2s to get the same answer, sorry, more x's to get the same answer. Um, okay, so this is the LUN, y equals LUN x graph, and actually y equals LUN x is a uh, graph which is the inverse of y uh, equals e to the x, which is a graph which is a reflection in the y equals x line of y equals e to the x. Okay, so what we've got, we've got an in function change, and so this will give us a stretch parallel to the x-axis by a scale factor sorry, that's spelled wrong, of 1 over a. Now this time, because 1 over a is a half, it's by a factor of 2, because 1 over a half gives you 2. Um, and so if before we were at 2, we will get the same answer when we're at 4. So at any point you can go across and it should be the same answer when you're at double the, double the space. Okay, and then we've got y equals ln x plus 2, and that just will lift it up 2, because it's outside the function. Uh, so we've got y equals plus a, um, and it's translation by a units parallel to the y-axis. So it just goes up plus 2. Okay, I hope they're helpful. I have gone through very quickly. I'm um, sorry for that. If um, you go and watch it again, just sort of slow down and pause and just make sure you're understanding what's going on. And I've, uh, as I said in past uh, videos on this, you're either going to have to learn the rules or understand the logic. If you find the logic difficult to understand, learn the rules because these questions always come up. Anyway, I hope that's helpful.